Welcome to our very first uh, deep dive. It's the new series, and it's all about the Lounge Cadets. Those are the real stars, you know. Oh, yeah, of... Of the Lounge Academy. Some are calling it Reality Piano Bar. Uh-huh. But today our focus is on David Lundy. Okay. He's an actor, um, but he's also kind of a bum vivant. And really seems to embody that golden era lounge lifestyle that Lounge Academy celebrates so much. <laughs> Yeah, what's interesting about Lundy is that he blends his acting career with this vintage glamour and camaraderie. Yeah. Like, he could be playing a president on stage, and then the next night he's having a cocktail with the lounge cadets. Right. It's like he found this, like, elegant oasis right. away from, you know, all the craziness of modern life. Right. I have to admit, it's pretty intriguing. I did a little bit of research on his acting. Okay. And the man has range. Have you ever seen him as President Truman? I haven't. It was give him hell, Harry. Oh, yeah. They say it's an amazing performance. Yeah, it's interesting because he's so good at playing these ordinary characters, too. You know, the everyday people that you don't really notice that much. Right. And he really brings those roles to life. Yeah. It reminds me of Charles Halton. Okay. You know that character actor from the Golden Age of Hollywood? He always played regular folks. I could see that. Like, I was looking at this photo of Lundy. Oh, yeah. And it was with Howard Goldman. Oh, yeah. At the Buffalo Statler. Mm-hmm. He just looks so comfortable. Yeah. Like he belongs in that vintage setting. Totally. And speaking of time capsules, Lounge Academy itself is kind of like that too. Yeah. Like it takes that sophisticated cocktail scene, you know, with elegant clothes and live music. Yeah. And brings it into the present. Right. It's like they recreated that whole piano bar. Yeah, exactly. Where people can just unwind. Yeah. And connect. Yeah. And just appreciate the finer things in life. And I guess that's where the whole lounge cadet thing comes from. Totally. Yeah. That's yeah. what lounge cadet is. It's somebody who enjoys that lifestyle, the simple pleasures, and that sense of community. Uh -huh. And from the photos and videos that we're looking at, it seems like Lundy fits right in. Yeah, like you see him at Johnny D's, mm -hmm. and he looks so dapper in a fedora, yeah. enjoying music with other lounge cadets, mm -hmm. like Ryan Lizars. Mm -hmm. And then we have those photos from the mansion, mm -hmm. all those gatherings at the Lounge Academy mansion. It just seems so warm yeah. and friendly. Yeah, it seems like he found this place where he can be himself yeah. and be surrounded by like-minded people. Mm -hmm. It's a nice contrast to the acting world. Yeah. Speaking of demanding roles, I read about his performance in, remember this, The Lesson of John Karski. Okay. So this is a play. Okay. That tells the true story of a Polish resistance fighter during World War II who risked his life to tell the world about the Holocaust. Wow. Seems pretty different from the lighthearted atmosphere of Lounge Academy. Yeah, it's a powerful story and really thought-provoking. Yeah. To play a character who's dealing with such huge moral dilemmas the burden of what he's seen, right? it must have been emotionally tough. Do you think that experience made him want to embrace the lounge lifestyle even more? Like to find balance? It's definitely possible. Maybe he finds some comfort in that time period, a simpler time. Yeah. Maybe things were less complicated then. It does make you wonder how someone can go back and forth from those intense roles. Right. To this world of leisurely elegance. Yeah, it suggests that there's a lot more to him, like a hidden complexity. I agree. There's more to David Lundy than we see on the surface. He's not just a good actor or a stylish lounge cadet. He's a really interesting mix of contrasts. Like, he finds harmony in these things that seem totally different. Yeah. That's what makes him so interesting for our first deep dive in this series. He really embodies that idea of a curated life. Everything is thought out. From the roles he chooses to the cocktails he drinks. It's all about finding beauty and meaning. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at a photo from a birthday party at the Lounge Academy mansion. Oh, yeah? Lundy is standing with Howard Goldman again. Oh, wow. They both look so elegant. Nice. You know, that effortless elegance. Yeah. That just defines that lounge cadet aesthetic. It's more than just looking good, though, right? Oh, yeah. It's about appreciating quality and craftsmanship. It's about tradition and style. Yeah, it's like sartorial elegance is a reflection of your mindset. Totally. It's like that attention to detail, that sense of refinement. Yeah. That's everywhere in the lounge lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And it's not just clothes, oh, right? No. Remember how we were talking about his versatility as an actor? Yes. 
Well, it turns out he's even been in Hollywood. Oh, right. He was in A Quiet Place Part 2. Oh, wow. So that's quite different from the stage productions we've been talking about. Right. It's so interesting to see him going back and forth. Totally. Between all these different entertainment worlds. Right. It really shows that he's willing to try new things. You know. To push himself outside of his comfort zone. You don't want to talk a little more about his theater work. Okay. Besides those two big plays, Give Him Hell, Harry. And remember this. I also saw mentions of looking through glass and sight unseen. Do those ring a bell? Yeah. Looking through glass was really interesting. Okay. Because it was an adaptation of a classic Yiddish play. Oh, wow. It kind of shows that he's open to exploring different cultures and theatrical traditions. Right. Which fits with the lounge lifestyle. It all connects, doesn't it? Yeah. Like his acting, the lounge lifestyle, even his marriage to Mary McNeil. Oh, yeah. She's a jazz singer. Yeah. They all connect in these subtle ways. And this takes us back to our earlier question. Right. How do all these pieces fit together? Yeah. What do they tell us about David Lundy, the person? Right. That's the big question, right. isn't it? It is. We can analyze his roles, his style, the people he hangs out with. Right. But in the end, he's still a mystery. There's so much we don't know. There is. And that makes him even more interesting. It does. Like, we're peeling an onion. Yeah. There's always another layer underneath. And maybe that's what makes this exploration so cool. I think so. We don't need all the answers. Right. It's about embracing the mystery and appreciating how complex people are. Yeah. I like that. Oh, before I forget, there's one more role I wanted to mention. Correct. He was the town drunk in To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, wow. It might seem like a small part. In the context of the story, it's actually very significant. Definitely. You have to be sensitive in that kind of role. Right. And nuanced. You have to show the human cost of prejudice right. without turning the character into a caricature. Yeah. It makes you wonder what Lundy brought to that role. Yeah. How did he find that depth and humanity in a character that so many people just dismiss? Right. Do you think choosing that kind of role alongside all these historical figures and comedic roles tells us anything about him as an actor. It probably shows that he wants to embrace all of human experience. Yeah. He wants to find the story within every character. It doesn't matter how big or small the part is. Right. It takes humility and empathy, qualities that I bet help him on stage. Right. And in Launch Academy. You know, it's yeah. funny. We started off focusing on David Lundy, the lounge cadet. Right. But by looking at his acting, yeah. we're actually getting to know him as a person. Totally. Like those two worlds are feeding each other. They are. That's the beauty of these deep dives. Yeah. You go in with one idea and then the journey takes you somewhere completely different. It does. You see connections and insights you never expected. It's so true. Yeah. And in this case, it gives us a better understanding of what it means to be a lounge cadet. Right. It's more than the clothes and the cocktails. It's about style <laughs> and substance. Yeah. Yeah. And real connections. For our listeners who are now as fascinated by David Lundy as we are, where can they go to learn more about him in this lounge cadet world? His website is a great place to start. It's wow. davidlundy.com. It has his filmography and upcoming projects. You can even see some behind the scenes stuff, like glimpses into his life. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we'll even have some listeners reach out to him after huh? this deep dive. Maybe he'd even come on the show someday to talk about Lounge Academy. That would be awesome. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that David Lundy is more than just a talented actor right. or a stylish lounge cadet. He shows us that we can live these rich lives full of passion and leisure and that we can find joy in unexpected places. That's a great way to put it. So to all our listeners, as you keep exploring David Lundy's world, remember to keep an open mind. Yeah. Ask questions. Embrace the journey. You never know what you might find. That's true. Maybe you'll even be inspired to create your own little oasis yeah. of golden era elegance. Cheers to that. Cheers. Well, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of David Lundy, the lounge cadet extraordinaire. We'll be back soon with another look into the lives of the lounge cadets. Until then, stay curious, yeah. stay stylish, and keep that golden era lounge lifestyle alive. <laughs>